This is three. So a bunch of people keep coming over here to take pictures of the sunrise, which is pretty cool, but little do they know, I'm taking a killer time lapse of it right now on my iPhone. Here it is. By the way, the last time I vlogged was Wednesday. Today is Sunday. Here's what you missed. The last three days have basically been packing, packing, and more packing. But last night, Erin and I celebrated our last date night in Jersey City. We made a movie about it. It's on her blog, which is linked below. Stowed completely underneath the seat in front of you, or in an overhead van. If you need assistance stowing your items, let a flight attendant know. You may continue to use small portable electronic devices through taxi, takeoff, and landing. So I'm on my way to Milwaukee for a speaking engagement this afternoon at a church. This is not part of the tour. This is actually my last talk that I'm going to give before the tour starts on October 1st. But today, as sort of my sermon of the day, I wanted to talk about the tour since that was really the whole impetus or inspiration for starting this vlog anyway. I wanted to talk specifically about how I put this tour together. Because I got an email a while back from a guy asking me, you know, who was your manager for this tour? Who was your booking agent? Who was your publicist? You know, um, where did you get your tour bus? You know, and things, big questions like that. And when I read the email, I kind of chuckled because the truth about this tour is that the manager, the booking agent, you know, the press agent, the publicist, that was all me. There is no real professional people, there's no uh, industry or, you know, hierarchy or anything like that behind this tour. You know, one day I just decided that I wanted to do a tour. So I went online and I started a Kickstarter and I asked you all and you all generously gave a ridiculous amount of money that was so, so helpful and then I started writing emails and I started making phone calls and I wrote hundreds maybe thousands of emails to every friend friend of a friend family member all over the country anyone who had some connection with a church or a school and I asked you all and you all helped with that as well and the reason to even talk about this is to be as transparent as possible but it's also it's not for me to like brag like oh I created this all by myself but more I hope to be an example and to hopefully inspire somebody that like if you want to start a project you have everything you need to do it. You know I created this tour with nothing but a laptop and a few connections and I don't really like to use this word a lot but the third thing I used was hustle. Um, I used any connection I had and I just hustled and I emailed and I called and I, I did I worked countless hours to try and make it happen um, and it wasn't because you know I was chosen by someone or it wasn't because I had all the right you know people working alongside of me or it wasn't because I had all this money to do it with it was because I had a vision and I had a passion for something I wanted to do and so I went out and I put in the time where I lacked other resources like money and you know professional connections I, I did have time and I made the time and so if there was a sermon for today it would be if there is an idea idea or a project or something like a tour that is on your heart, do not let excuses like I don't have the right professional connections or I don't have enough money or I don't have enough of things, don't let those excuses keep you from doing the thing that has been placed on your heart. If it's important enough to you, if it's truly important enough and if you feel that God has truly placed it on your heart, you will make the time, you will find a way to do it. Um, and it is possible today more than ever. That's my sermon for today. Back to the vlog. Just finished a 27 minute flight from Chicago to Milwaukee. 27 minutes. 
Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome right. to Wisconsin. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> we are really, really excited to have John Jurgensen with us, and uh, he's here to share his uh, story of uh, the journey and how there's never enough for the journey. There actually is enough if we listen to his uh, story and his journey. So let's welcome John Jurgensen. All right, so I just finished the talk. It went well. The people here are unbelievably nice. It's the First Congregational Church of Christ in Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. Shout out! I'm gonna post the talk on the channel, not this coming Friday, because this coming Friday is going to be the top secret video that I filmed on Wednesday, but the next Friday. So, like the first Friday in October, I think? It'll be out then. So, look out for it. Now I think they're gonna take me to dinner, then it's back to the hotel. We're going on a tour of the if I church. See you guys later on YouTube, we know why. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna see an embarrassing <laughs> picture? Who is that you guy? <laughs> it looks like it would be. I love it. Okay, so this bed and breakfast is one of the most amazing places I have ever been in my adult life. And I just found some hats right behind this mirror. So I think you know what that means.